Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be overclocking the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4 to 2.3 gigahertz. So let's get started. Now, before I begin, I do want to show you this new t-shirt, which is I am hacking and it says till it hurts. Now, my friend just started a new clothing line called imfyi.com and in collaborations, he actually designed this shirt for our channel and it's available right now and it's a limited time offer. I don't know how long we're going to keep it on the website, but I definitely want to help my friend with his new company. So here it is. I also got a promo code in the description below where you will get 10% off on anything you purchase. So yeah, not only did I get this, I am hacking. I also got my wife one, which is I am cold and um, yeah, yeah, definitely check out his site. It's pretty cool. It's got a lot of cool things. Now to jump into it, Today we are going to be overclocking the Raspberry Pi 4 compute module up to 2.3 gigahertz. Now supposedly you should be able to do this with the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte model, but I haven't tried it yet and I will be doing that soon. But here we are. I have my Raspberry Pi compute module and before I do anything, what I want to grab, which is VC Gen Command Measure Clock Arm. And right now it's not going to show anything because it's on the lowest setting. So let me do LSCPU and you can see it's at 1.5 gigahertz, which is stock clock. I'm gonna head over to my downloads folder where I have my little benchmarking program for the Raspberry Pis, if I could type today. And I'm gonna run a quick Linpack Pi. And on the bottom, it'll just show you the results. And we're gonna jot that down and compare the results on what we get on 2.3. Now, as this is running, I'm also gonna describe, I was doing this also on, I started at 2.1, then 2.2, then 2.25, 2.5, then 2.75, and then 2.3. Now, keep in mind that any time that you go over 2.2, you will need to set turbo boost. So keep in mind, any time that you set force turbo on, you will void the warranty on your Raspberry Pi board. So you can't go past six. Anything past six, uh, you need to use force turbo, and that's when you void your warranty. So anyway, we got our numbers back, and it's 733, okay? So we're gonna jot that down. And now I'm actually gonna edit the config file. And I'm not gonna go gradual, I'm just gonna jump right over to the 2.3 to show you guys. And it's config. And I already have something here. So force turbo has to be enabled, over voltage on 14. So anything past six, you need to use it. And apparently on the Raspberry Pi 3s when I was testing this, I think max was eight. You couldn't even go past eight because the chip wouldn't even deliver more than 1.4 volts. But apparently you could with the Raspberry Pi 4s. So I'm on over voltage 14, ARM frequency 2.3, and GPU for frequency 7.5 and 750. And if you're not going to be using too much GPU intensive things, you might want to lower that. But I'm just going to leave it so we could play some YouTube videos or something like that. So, of course I didn't put permissions on. Sudo bang bang. And let me redo what I just did. Comment that out. And I am going to do a power off. So what I ended up having to do is unplugging this and plugging this in. And the noise that you hear in the background is this janky setup where I have this 120 millimeter fan blowing directly into it. And then I also have the heat sink set up so the wind could get right through. So here we are, completely booted. And this is at 2.3 right now. If I was to show you uh, LS CPU, I don't think it comes up correctly. Apparently it's 2.5. But if I go to VC gen command measure uh, clock ARM, see it's 2.3 right now. So I'm, I'm maxed out. So while we have this working, I'm also going to pop into the downloads folder in Raspi benchmarks and then run the benchmark itself again. And at this rate, if it fails, you would know that the benchmark would have broke it. So it is stable on 2.3 for me. I could probably try to push it a little bit more. I haven't tried. I think 2.3 was like my peak limits because I know I need to increase the voltage just to get a little bit higher. So I'm a little afraid of that. Anyway, you got 1152 and before it was 733, right? So if I was to pop into the browser and look for a percentage calculator, Oh, I don't even have a internet hooked up onto this guy right now. But by doing the math, I'll just play it here. And I think it's about 35 to 40% increase in speed just from changing that little setting up to 2.3. And if I was to 
obviously show you the browser and do YouTube. Oh, I don't have internet either. You know what? My friends, we now have internet. I just plugged in the cable. So if I was to do percentage calculator and let's do maybe this one and I'll do value one which was 733 and value two was 1152 so 1152 and if I was to calculate that it is an increase of 57 nope difference in 44 percent 44 percent in speed increase that's the difference so yeah we went from 1.5 to 2.3 and i'm not having any issues with this everything loads quick so if i was to play this music video I'll, i might mute it out look at this it loads almost instantaneously and if i was to pop over to something that's already pre-downloaded no problem whatsoever full screen eh, full screen still has a little bit of a lag to it or it doesn't even want to play in full screen oh there you go yeah it does have a little bit lag to it but there you go guys 2.3 gigahertz on the raspberry pi compute module 4. anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i will be testing this board even more putting more modules on there playing it around i am currently compiling a lot of kernels for this just to play with different things so yeah i got that going on as well and again please visit my friend's website i am fyi.com and use the coupon code down in the description below if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say in my nerd cave hack till it hurts